Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It's August here. I'm doing some new segments here in the month of August. The whole month of August is going to be about quick, easy meals that you can do on a daily basis for dinner. Might throw in some breakfast items there. Because I know August is hot and you don't want to... I'm the same way. I don't want to be in the kitchen all day cooking, heating up my house with the oven. And also, you a lot of people busy during the summertime with the kids out of school and stuff like that. So I'm trying to give y'all the next maybe 10 recipes videos I put up. Going to be quick, easy recipes you can do probably in 30 minutes. Probably less than that. So today I'm doing old school cheeseburger pie. It takes 10 minutes to put together. Another 15, 20 minutes in the oven. Shoot, 40, 45 minutes you can have a meal for your house. So let's get started here, y'all. Enough talking here. Let's get started. I got a pound of ground meat here. I'm going to sear off here in my pot here. And like I say, y'all, this is something you can actually do tonight to head, night before, and put in, the, put in the oven when you get home. So what I want to do here, I want to get this seared off. And this cheeseburger pie is going to have everything in it except the lettuce. You're going to have the onions, tomatoes, pickles, uh, cheese. I'm going to actually add a little breadcrumbs in there to represent the bread. And I'm going to put it in a double layer. I did it in a single layer pie crust. And I did it in a double layer pie crust. So today I'm going to do it in a double layer pie crust. The main thing right now, I want to get all this ground meat rendered off here. After it's rendered off, we're going to put some onions in there. We're going to drain it, put it in a bowl here. We're going to add the other ingredients, fold it together, top it with cheese, put it in the oven. So we'll be right back once I get the ground meat printed off. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back here. All right. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to season my... I'm going to throw my onions in here. I want, this is the only thing I won't completely cook. Of course, the tomatoes and all the other stuff I'm going to fold in later, as you'll see. I'm going to get my onions really translucent here. I don't want to be crunching down. You know how I am about onions and celery. I don't like crunching down on onions and celery. I'm going to put my old school soul food shake in here. So the sweet and spice here. And some salt and pepper. this all mixed up in there good but have some flavor there y'all so a little bit more more shake in here y'all you know this stuff is not salty it's just flavor y'all okay it's all rendered up here And I didn't chop the onions too fine because I definitely want to taste the onions it's like a cheeseburger. If you don't like onions, hey, you don't have to put the onions in there. If you don't like tomatoes, don't put tomatoes in there. If you don't like pickles, don't put tomatoes. Whatever you like on your cheeseburger, that's what you put in there, y'all. Whatever you like on your cheeseburger, that's what you put. But like I said, y'all, I've cooked this two ways. I did it with the crust. Y'all see I got the pie crust already here in, in, the, in the pie uh, uh, pan and I got a crust to put on top. Like I said, I've done it two ways. Oh yeah, it smells amazing y'all. Let me taste it here. Make sure I got enough seasoning in here. Oh yeah. Definitely enough seasoning. Okay, now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drain this off. I want to drain all the liquid off. That's very important. Drain all this liquid off of here. Okay. Get all the liquid, much liquid I can off of here because it, it, it's soggy. When it go in the pie crust, you're going to have a soggy cheeseburger pie. So I want to be completely drained. 
Pour it in my bowl here. Right there now. This is what we got here. Are y'all with me here? Now this one we need to get have some have a little fun here, y'all. Okay. Now first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my pickles and onions in here. Put my breadcrumb, I got a little breadcrumb. That's gonna help bind it together where it don't fall apart when I cut it. I'm gonna put a little cheese in the middle and I'm gonna save the rest of this cheese for the top. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. I'm gonna mix all this up. See that? Mix all that together there. See how pretty that looks, y'all? I know it tastes amazing. Okay. I got my pie shell in here. I'm gonna pour this in the pie shell. All right? Okay, got all that in the pot shell right there. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix eggs here. All of them, but a little, I'm gonna say just a little for the topping for the, for the brush the top of the, top of the pie. I'm gonna add the eggs to the cheese. What this do, it's gonna make the cheese have it not melt completely and be a layer on top, which you'll see later when this pie is finished. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer this all on the top. No way, I'm gonna go back and spread it around evenly now, just a second. Once I get it on here, put my spatula here, spread it around evenly. Cheese topping there with the egg on it. See that? There we go. And like I said, that egg gonna help that cheese sit there and not melt away, and it's gonna be another binding agent. There we go, see that? See how simple that is, y'all? Now, I'm gonna take my other dough here. A nice here, y'all know I use a Pillsbury roll-out. These things will save you. Oh, y'all know what I forgot? I forgot to put my mustard and ketchup in there. You know what? Got it sitting right here. But it just won't get in this one. But you both put a little mustard and a little ketchup in it too. And I definitely forgot to do that. So it's gonna taste good anyway. But the, you'll see the recipe has tomato and ketchup in it. So all I'm gonna do now, is just make sure the edges are crimped together. Just like this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put ketchup and mustard on it after it come out. Hey, works out just as good like that, y'all. Okay, now, I'm gonna poke a few holes in here. First, I'm gonna brush it with my egg wash. A little water to these eggs that I had left over here, y'all. Little eggs I had left over. I'm gonna brush this just on here. Make it look pretty when it come out, y'all. That. Yes, sir. There we go now. Now I'm gonna make my little slits in here. My little air slits here. So they don't explode when the pie is cooking. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven 350 degrees. About 35 minutes. That's all it's gonna take. Sometimes it takes a little longer. We shouldn't take no more than 35 minutes. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. The pie just come out of the oven and it is hot. So I, what I'm gonna do, y'all, you see, I got my ketchup and mustard. I ain't gonna forget it this time. I'm gonna eat it on the side. But I'm gonna let it set up here probably about 15, 20 minutes so I can cut it. When you come back, I'm definitely gonna, and this took exactly 35 minutes to cook y'all. I cooked it 35 minutes in the oven. So got a nice flaky crust on there. You see the egg wash gives it a nice looking color there. Uh, that's why it's good to egg wash your pie before you put it in the oven. But yeah, I'll be back in about, about 15, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And we're gonna uh, cut this up and show you how, uh, how it looks inside. When I cut it, it should have that layer of cheese at the top and then, the, you know, nice 
flaky crust, and then you'll see all the insides. But anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back here. And look what we got here. Nice cheeseburger pie. See that? See that cheese layer right up in there? That's what I like. That's why I put the egg there. Well, the cheese will set there right up underneath the crust. See how it looks? This is hot, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't gonna pick this up. I know it's hot. See that? Nice. So let's try this out. Now I'm gonna put a little ketchup on my plate, y'all, because I don't have no ketchup in it. And I love ketchup on my burger, y'all. Okay. Oh, yeah. Little ketchup there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that cheeseburger. Mmm. Little ketchup for me. And I can't believe I forgot the ketchup. And the mustard. Mm. It's sitting right there. But anyway, it's all good. I just put it on the side. But y'all see how easy that is. I put that together in less than 10 minutes. It took 30 minutes, a little bit over 30 minutes to cook. Like I say, you can actually do this the night before. Put it in the refrigerator. When you come home from work, come home from school or whatever, put it in the oven, half an hour or so, you got a meal right here, y'all. And this is what I'm going to be doing all month. Quick meals, but you ain't got to have your oven on all day. You ain't got to have your stove top on all day, all night. Something quick and easy. I'll be doing quick desserts too, same thing. So anyway... If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year, help somebody? Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a black Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.